What's up, guys? Another Void here with more Star Drive 2. Episode 20! I think we're going to get across the uh, inter intergalactic superhighway this time. Really aren't doing much else of anything, so it should be pretty easy. Let's just continue. We've got a lot of interceptors popping out. These guys go over here, I believe. People calling me on the phone, of course. So we're going to put one there. Let's put one here. This guy's good to go. He can just deploy. And then this... This guy's almost there. He should deploy... He should deploy about right... There. I think. We're gonna need one out to NLs, but I think we can do it from here. Let's do it from Chal. We can make like two more of those guys. So let's zoom in right here. How many more of these? Oh, we're building tons more. We don't need to even check. So, we got a ship here. Where's it supposed to be going? That's not the ship I want. Um, this is a Munz ship. Doesn't this guy already have... Oh, no. I want that. Does this guy uh, have a Munz? Does Admiral Kroll have a Munz? He does not. So, let's get him a Munz. Get out of there. So, there we go. All right, that's cool. We're done. And interceptors are still popping out. Always got to check to make sure everybody's still building. I think we're good. Defensive mine net. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Okay, cool. Go forward. Go forth. One command point. Awesome. We're going to be building a bunch of those now. Okay, so we got the gal net thing. Let's build the military antenna, I think like that. That's pretty cheap, actually. So we got... Let's see. Who who has the... Uh, I think it's this dude. And send him that way again. This is kind of just a little bit boring stuff we're doing right here. So we've got... Okay, this guy's done, but let's aim him this way. There you go. And we've got that guy going there. And let's put one at Enils, but we wanted to do it here, so we'll do it about right there. This one's going to require two, probably. And I think that's kind of it. We don't really have anything else we're doing. Except we're waiting for... I think this is a Mun ship. Oh, we're waiting for the fuel ship to get there. So we have a Mun ship here. Let's go look. I think they go in an order. It's a scout. There's There are two scouts here. That's not good. Shouldn't there be a scout here? Do we build one too many scouts? I doubt it. Nope. This guy... Um, Admiral Kroll doesn't have a scout. Let's get him a scout. There you go, buddy. So do we have a Munz ship here? We need to know if we have a Munz, a Munz ship. Because if we don't, we need to steal one. We have a, scan, a scout ship. I don't think we have a Munz ship. Nope, we don't. That is a fuel ship. That's our Munz ship. That's supposed to go to here. So let's get this guy back on the highway here. Chill R1 builds this. Alright, well, now build this. Oops. Again, it should automatically put tree kids last. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, so that's done. Hit it. Oh, science. Science! Study mysterious asteroid. Let's do that. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, we have to actually pick it or something? Special project allocation. Okay. Only need 308. Or 150. So let's just go back to 150 and pick something. There we go. Okay, so we'll get that in one turn. Um, Probably ECM Janner, Jammer. What's this one research per turn? What's this? Zeno Intelligence Agency. Intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Each branch of this provides one free point of espionage defense. Increases the effectiveness by moles by of moles by one research per turn. Okay, we don't care about that too much. Eliminates racial conflict on a colony. We probably will need that. Let's wait. 10% approval for two. I think what we're going to do... What's this? 10 research, 2 research per scientist. Take cost two. We're really in the hole right now. We need to make money. Targeting computer, we don't care about that. That's pretty expensive. We should probably go with ECM Jammer. Let's do that. It's time to do ECM Jammer. 
Six turns. Hurry up! We have learned enough. Take two. Okay, that's three. for 20 turns. That's fine. Okay, not losing as much money now. Okay, so we got this. We're going to need it about right there-ish. Right? Dock and two. Done. Dock and two is finished. Let's do this. Military antenna. That thing only costs one, right? Yeah. Uh, it costs two. We need to make more money. We have a lot right now, but I mean, we need to make more. Um, let's go in here. Is everybody good? Everybody producing? They're all producing. Food guys are doing fine. Chull, might as well just do this. I don't think... Oh, anyone does need this, probably. The farm guys need to, f to farm. Anyone's one's not doing anything. Do that. Oops. Okay, so he's doing something... If we do if we do that and we spend that much money, then what then we definitely need to uh we definitely need to take two fleets and start jacking people up because they're just gonna start costing us so much money, it's not even funny. Nordell three doing nothing. Let's go with that. Close. Oh cool, it comes back to this. Okay, so everybody's pretty much doing what they're supposed to do. Enil's one is not. Because we didn't move that. There we go. Okay. That's what we want. We're doing good. Negative 36. That is so crazy. We got another construction ship. This guy is ready to rock, though. I wonder. It would be cool if they'd autopilot themselves. That'd be so neat. Oh, wait. There we go. Let's point him a little bit more. There we go. Right at him. Okay. This guy's also good. Let's deploy him. Oh, this guy's on the superhighway, right? Let's get him out here quick to Admiral Renegade. He needs him bad. What's this guy? Oh, he's a scout. Okay, he's moving in position. And this guy needs to deploy. There we go. Like, perfect, pretty much. Yeah, that's actually perfect. Um, so why don't we send this guy out here? Because we're going to need a fuel depot, right? Didn't we say we wanted a place we can drop some fuel? Let's put that with Admiral Renegade's fleet. I think we should probably just build some more of these things. Seems like we need them. Let's build two more. How are we doing on freighters? Let, then let's build some freighters, like four freighters after that. All right, we're going to really be hurting. We're at negative 36. It's because of food. Oh, this one's done. Um, pointed at this. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe a little bit crooked here. There we go. Okay, so we've got a pretty good little super highway going. I wish it was a different color. Just a tiny bit different color. Then we could actually see it better. Look at that. Tons of fuel. That's from the fuel ship. A lot of that is, anyway. Let's hurry this up, man. Let's hurry this up. Nothing happened, huh? Oh. Uh, noted. That's fine. Yeah, we know. PCM Jammers, yay! Okay, so... Did it put us back to... Yeah, it did. Oh, EMP Torpedoes. These are awesome. Um, they disable ships. <laughs> but they take up... You have to have, like, EMS, EMP ships. That That's all they do. That's the only thing. I think we can get some cruisers that do that. Photon torpedoes. It's from House of Star Trek. That's awesome. Energy cannons and guided weaponry. Their guidance function is relatively simple. Magnetic gatekeeper. Small amount of the payload to make course corrections. Cool. Okay, cool. But you still don't have to... Okay, I don't know what a pro photon torpedo does. I'm going to have to research that. Colonial police? Oh. So let's get Mech Factory, I think. That's 3,000, though. That's a lot. I don't really care about that. Eliminates racial... We might want Adjustment Center. I need to wait, because I don't know anything about that. Um, I like the EMP torpedoes, but I'm kind of thinking we're going to want damage. I don't want to look it up, because 
going to have issues, man. The weapon keys are parallel to superheated plasma, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how much damage they do. Plasma burns for damage over time. I don't want damage over time. These are really deadly. Remember when they locked up one of my ships? I can have my EC EMP guys target the larger ships. Let's use that. We're going to go with EMP torpedo. That might not be what we want, but we're going we're gonna to do it anyway. We have another construction ship out here. Well, let's just move it out here. Yes, we know this, man. <laughs> Alright, so we've got antennas coming out now. Now we're really in a hole. Why don't we just keep this guy on money? He's making us 4 BC per turn, right? What can we sell? Something's costing us too much. I think everything's fine here. It's fine. We're still building... Yeah, we're building freighters now, so we're good. Let's build an antenna there, too. And we got an antenna here. We're not building anything at docking 2 now. Let's just put them on trade goods. That's going to help our money out. We need money. So, we got nothing produced. We should be, hopefully, come out even. So, is he there yet? Just about there. We're almost ready to leave, except that construction ship needs to catch up. This guy can deploy... So now we have a full super highway here, pretty much. An intercluster super highway connecting all of our systems that we care about anyway. Sweet. Perfect, man. This is looking good. Um Okay. We are not interested in this arrangement. Proposed solar array on Cholar 5. Private corporation. All of them government research to flat production. Oh no. Your lease fee will be to pay for the maintenance of 2BC on the solar array. No. That's like two, two production for... Yeah, that's stupid. No thanks. Nordell 1, probably not going to be doing anything pretty soon. Nordell 3, producing really nothing right now. We might be able to actually make up our money because we have nothing else to build because, you know, our fleets are good. We don't really need more fleets. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're good. we're done. We don't need any more. So, let's just sit tight now. Now we definitely should be able to move across. We got nothing else going, man. Four turns? That seems like a lot. Oh, here's the other ship we want, so we're good. One more turn. We're going to be ready to rock. Is this, this two turns? He's right there. I don't understand that. I thought you were on the superhighway. You're not. Can construction ships not use the superhighway? Okay. Noted. We know that. Okay, so now he's there. And he uses the superhighway for a little bit, and then they get off of it. Do we need to double up or something? Alright, so we've got 4,000 fuel now. We're good. We're ready to rock. We've got another construction ship out here. Let's just park him up here. We might want to use them again across the superhighway. It's time for Admiral Renegade to move out. So let's... Oh, we, we I know what we want him to do. Well, let's jump out to here. We'll put a fuel depot right there. Two turns. Nice. EMP torpedoes. Core world at Shull. Finally. <laughs> That's funny. Um, science. Swords. Class 3 shields. Pretty much a no-brainer. Field fuel cells. Increase the fuel capacity for ships. No way. Class 3 shields. It's a no-brainer. Those things are ridiculous, man. They're doing like 40,000 hit points. And you can put a bunch of them on your ship. Uh, we're going to be doing upgrades once we get those. Um... Starbase, finally. Why is he not on the superhighway again? These things don't work very well. Should I just jump through one of them at a time? Game protobomb. Oh, good. So, I thought I already had that. Core world, nice. I thought I already had that. Let's go to Nordal one real fast. But, I didn't. I had a different thing. So I think the protobomb is actually what I want, because I think it destroys ground forces. 
biological weapon derived from the mysterious protomonic. It doesn't... Isn't that what neurotoxin bomb is? Does this kill... Oh, uh, it probably kills... I want it just to kill strategic... Like, ground forces. That's what I want it to do. But I don't think it will. Alright, so... Somehow we got off the superhighway. So now let's drop... Let's see. Let's drop that dude. The fuel base, right? Your fueling station. There we go. So we're down a little fuel, not too much. We should be able to stay there now and refuel. It worked. We're refueled now. Sweet. Thanks for that hint. Let's go on the superhighway once again. Why is that three turns? You're on the superhighway. Let's see. Uh, unique ship, political liability, fire leader. What's this? 30% Ooh, fleets commanded by this leader gain 30% bonus to all weapon damage. Nice. Zap Groaning. He's pretty awesome. To say this... Blah, 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 blah. Having the list leader on your payroll will damage your relations with every known species by 25. I can't really afford that. Hmm... How do you get rid of 30% damage, though? That's hard. If I want to trade... No, let's just reject. Because I want to... Um, I want to do some trades. Uh, it's weird that we got off the superhighway on that. I knew that was not working. Alright, who is it? Oh, these guys again? Yeah, no problem. Let's go to ending one. We'll cap catch him on the way. Four turns. There's a super highway there. This is dumb. Let's get him on the super highway. I think that's stop one turn or something. I don't know. All right. Let's get a little closer now. We still have a lot of fuel. We probably should send one more guy out. Just in case. Let's do another refueling station out here. Let's send him to the refueling station. Let's get him on the highway first. You should be on the highway. Both the Victor and the Vanquish. What? They've already captured all the space? But blah, 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 blah. Exit. Class 3 shields. See? I, c I c had my chance. I had my chance, man. Do they have this? They don't. Can't I medium radiated... Can't I pick that up? It's not in their space, is it? I think this is their space, and this is just their influence. I want to see where this goes. Hmm. I want to see where that goes. So this guy is on the superhighway now. Yeah, see, he's on it. So let's send him to here. Then he'll be on another one. Maybe you have to like drop out in the superhighway like that. Ending one. What are you doing now? Why don't you build? Oh, okay. We don't need you to build anything else. Go back to building all. Just doing food. There we go. That's much better. So, yep. Now they're on the superhighway. So let's get them to ending one. Actually, let's do this. Well... Oh, okay. How many dudes are in this one? Six? Should be no problem for us. Okay. We're still good. Uh, we gotta do something. Advance ECM. It's advanced jammer. Defense. Okay. We just got this. Wow, that sucks. We just got that. What's this? Damage done. Um, I wish it gave you some stats. It's like you can't. How do you know if you can pick it unless you get some stats? And I know you haven't researched it yet, so that's kind of you know that's why you don't know what it does. But it should tell you something, because why would you don't know what to pick? Because you don't know how good it is. Hmm. Damage done. 
this weapon is evenly spread throughout a ship, making it rather effective against high-powered ships that might have thick armor. Oh, it's evenly spread. So, like, the way damage works in this game is it starts at the front of that side of the ship. Like, if you're hitting a guy in the front, it'll start at the top of, if you're looking at the arm, at the ship layout, it's, so it's working through his armor. It's not hurting the internal parts of the system. But this will. It'll damage the internal parts of the system as equally as it damages the armor. Huh. That's very interesting. Let's go with something else. Let's go with... I think we're going to want this adjustment center, but what's this again? Ship module, targeting computer. A novice crew will miss. I don't know. Targeting computer is pretty cool. This is really neat, too. We're going to get the planetary supercomputer. Okay, so let's see where it goes here. On behalf of the people of the Earth, we greet you in peace. I'm Pipe Smoke. <laughs> I'm I'm pot smoke I'm pot smoker high admiral of the Terran fleet. Nice. So they should be fighting a lot. Wow, they're spanning over large areas here. They're like, whoa, that's a huge fleet. Let me see if we got you got anybody here. Not really. Where are your? No, I don't know where they are. Let's go back before we run out of fuel. Um, we've already built a highway over to here, so we're gonna and we're gonna kick up a spot right here. Our, one of our colony ships has arrived in a habitable system. Oh. Okay. So, these guys should intercept. Okay, so these guys are over here now. What's this guy doing? Is he on the superhighway still? Nope. So, let's see if that works. He needs to get on that superhighway. All right, so what I'm going to do, I think the medium radiated abundant is good, except there's no food there. Really wanted to get a place with food. Should I send a scout and get that spot? We got it. We have to We have to get this planet. We have no choice. Admiral Renegade says do it. The colony ship is going to go, and Admiral Renegade ship is going gonna, is gonna to help out his fleet. So first colonized planet in the new star cluster do it. Confirm. Boom. We just got a planet over here. Your hunger for territorial admirals con concerning to us. You possess too many planets. I make us question whether possession, our, possession of our planets is part of your plan. Maybe. We'll see, bro. Expansionist policies become a concern. Then you'll need to slow down and stop gobbling up. Yeah, right. I'm gonna kill you guys. Okay, so we need to make this thing as awesome as possible. So first we're going to need, I think, a star base for defense. And we're going to buy this. We're just going to buy that. We've got tons of cash. We'll buy that so we can get... I think... I don't know if we can get refueled and restocked. Let's see if you can. Yeah, we're refueled and restocked just because we have a, a thing there. But this is going to help us with... Uh, Defense. We're gonna. It's gonna help us defend this spot. So we're good like that. Okay. Is he on it now? He's still. I don't understand this. Subspace projector not working. Well. There we go. Five, huh? Okay. So we should probably put. <laughs> That's funny. I just ate up his space. Oh, here's what he's got. Oh, that's that. Interesting. He's probably fighting those guys. So, but the only problem is now, well, I got an easy way to get over here, but now I'm going to get crushed by possibly two dudes. So that's bad. That's really, really bad. Uh, 24 minutes here, huh? So we got a star base. Intercept. Good. Fight. Admiral Kroll can't wait to jack this dude up with the Asp Mark II. Going to be horrible. Horrible for these guys. He's going to take it in the face right here. The munitions guy is just going to kick it because he doesn't have any guns. And these guys can get up front too. We don't care about these guys. Don't, don't get in the way too much, guys. There we go. 
So they're pretty much going to stand their ground until I tell them to move. These guys, I don't want them to get primaried like right off the bat. Hurry up. This is taking too long, guys. Oh, you can only do one ship at a time, huh? Okay. Okay. So I think what I want to do with all these guys is they should hold their ground. Yeah, hold position. There we go. This is going to be a slaughter fest. Like, well, unless they upgrade the crystal guys over time, then it's going to hurt. But we'll see. I want to see those cruise missiles go off. Oh, my God. There we go. Ten cruise missiles. They're going to jam them, though, I think. No. Oh, my God. You just got wrecked. You're getting shrecked, bro. You're getting... Oh, to the face. Retreating. Good luck. That's exactly what we wanted right there. Yeah, you're pretty much hosed, buddy. Oh my god. Admiral Kroll's like, bring it. Bring it, man. I just, you're not even gonna, what are you doing, right? Damn. Damn, that was so awesome. Admiral Kroll like a boss. He's like, watch this. You know, I didn't think, I didn't become an admiral for nothing, okay? 53,000 damage. Oh my god, those cruise missiles are awesome. I love them. We lost nobody, right? Angry Crystal Shard destroyed. Okay. Hmm. So I think we just got some BC from that. We have that special tech that should give us money. 25 BC per command point killed or something like that? I don't remember. Alright, let's bring him back to a defensive position. We killed the, uh, the bad guys. Probably should just come out here. Unexplored and all, all up. Anomaly, jeez. Alright, no construction, because I have not built anything yet. Let's build a Zeno mine here. Let's move some dudes here, too. Zeno mine, then automated factory. We need to pump this thing up. Defensive net wouldn't be a bad idea either. Not right away. We need to build the production up real quick. All right, I think we're good with that. Let's start out with that. Because then we're going to need, let's see, this. So it's cheaper. We're going to need that. That's actually going to help a lot more. Let's do it like that. Imperial Bank, defensive mine net. That's the way I want to do it right there. So let's look at maybe moving some dudes over from there. Because, well, we have a little bit of food, but not a lot. Uh, hold on a second. We have a little bit of food, not tons. We have basically one. We need more farming places. I thought we had too many, but we need more. No farming, no farming. Everybody's farming that can farm, right? No, this guy's not. Buy that. We need you on farming, like, immediately. So let's move a guy from here. Well, we don't want to move farming, guys. Let's move some of these dudes. Nordell 1. Let's move a bunch of these dudes. They don't need these guys. There we go. So there's a bunch of guys coming out here now to help out. We're almost done with this. We're going to make another fuel. I don't know if this is going to be a fuel station or what, because now we have this. We have a, a planet here, so we don't really need this guy to be a fuel station. And the superhighway is not working. I'm wondering if I should just build another set, like a double superhighway or something. Maybe they need to overlap more. This one overlaps, barely. I think when you go out of it and come back in, it doesn't work. Well, let's just do this. Let's come here. We'll build one here. Oops. Let's bring this guy back to here. We'll build one right there, and we'll build one right there. I want to make sure these guys stay in the superhighway here. So let's go into this guy. You build another construction ship. All right. We're also going to need a couple more colony ships because I want to colonize that area. All right, I think we're doing good here. We could probably build more ships for the second fleet. It probably would be a good idea to bring another fleet in there. Oh, we already have another guy. Let's bring him in to right there. 
Actually, let's get him. Well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Research lab on Aliens 4. What are you building, man? Hurry up. Eh, he's got a few more things to build. We don't need to build that. We don't, not every place needs one of those. Alright. Yay! Science! For science! Which one was that? <gasps> Dude, the torpedoes are crazy. I think antimatter cannons were better than torpedoes. Well, I'm going to wait because we're at 30 minutes right now. So I'm going to go look that stuff off. I'm going to look up this stuff offline. The subliminator, advanced ECM. Oh, wait, subliminator. I want to look up that. Um, and we can figure out figure out what we're going to do when we get back. So I think we're doing pretty good. We, we The first colonization across the intergalactic superhighway. Um, we're also going to be bolstering that sucker up because it sucks. So why don't we just do this guy here? It doesn't matter. It's going to way overlap, so it's fine. Um, there we go. Really want to make sure that these guys don't get off the highway. And that's going to do it for episode 20. I think this is a great episode. Actually had some good expansion. We've met two guys for the first time who don't seem to be outside of their... Uh, well, this guy gets two clusters, so he's a lucky dog because they connect. And this one looks like two clusters as well. So... They could be a little bit more advanced than us. We're gonna we're yet to find out. We haven't seen any of their ships yet, but we will see in a little while. As always, stay frosty.